What's good everyone? Welcome back. Welcome back. We are watching Mushoku Tensei season 2 episode 5. In the last episode we concluded with Rudy getting an invitation to uni to the school of magic and things like that. Um, not necessarily take classes but kind of like self-study but have access to the material that they have there so that he can improve and through there i'm sure he's gonna meet sylphie and that's pretty much where we're at so we're gonna see what happens following that i guess and um he met the like god dude that like kind of hinted him like this could potentially cure your ed well actually I don't did he even say potentially or that i would like anyways going there is gonna somehow open access to him getting better and whatnot so let's just see what i feel like this is gonna be an episode that's gonna be like oh, because like sophie and stuff like that i feel like i feel like this is gonna be a pretty interesting episode because we haven't seen rudy in this context yet so let us see What? <laughs> Wait. So she's not actually a hoe? <laughs> Wait, what kind of curse? Now, you know, this, this curse, the author was just messing around and having fun. Cause <laughs> Wait, what? This looks like an opening, like an actual... Bro, why... Yeah. Wait, this like is an actual opening. Oh my god, look at you, Rudy, all grown. <laughs> it actually is an opening, guys. Oh, I forgot to look into that OVA again. Whoops. Damn. <laughs> this thing about it. There's a thing about a man's hand on a woman's waist, bro. There's a thing about that. There's something about that. <laughs> Okay, cool. Oh, like to dis demonstrate. Oh, my God. He might not recognize her, but she. <gasps> she has, she definitely recognizes him. <laughs> Now he's gonna go off on her, bro! So does he recognize something? He has- he's gonna have to recognize something. Oh my god! He would never if he knew, but he's gonna heal her right away. Oh no! Was it him? Okay, whatever. Haven't you heard? Oh, sorry. I guess not. <laughs> Sophie 
no less. Okay, that one dude with the ears though, I'm not even gonna cap. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think that's even worse. <laughs> the pity, bro. The pity is even worse. The Riz, stop! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sometimes from lessons too. Oh, that is lit! That's so convenient. Fair enough. I don't even think she needs that to pick up guys. Okay, tell me why this was me in high school though. Our whole, like our whole school, we was just rolling up the skirt. Actually, I, you know, I was one of the girls that said, "Mom, shorten my skirt." <laughs> it was just, you know, like come on, you know the high school look with the skirt. Like it's gotta be short. It's just cute. It's just cute like that. Like, what? So yeah, like, we weren't allowed to roll up our skirts. So I was just like, mom, make the skirt that way. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> no, but it wasn't like just enough to cover. It was, it was, it was, it was still like, okay, like. Our skirt had to be a max of like two inches above the knee, right? So like, something like this, maximum, okay? But like me, I'm just <laughs> All of us had it like up to here, I swear. That's pretty short, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty short. One day I'm gonna, I, I still have my uniform, so one day I should probably like try it on again and see what it looks like. <laughs> looks fun. Great, we're entering the the cat girl era, dog girl era, all that stuff. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, she meows too. She. <laughs> Here we are. Yes. All oh, right. It's you. I actually completely forgot about this guy and what the heck the situation was, and I forgot to go back and look into it. I'm sorry, so I'll do that for next time. <laughs> completely forgot. Yes, hello. <laughs> like, it's so vague, my memory. Yo, like, nobody asked, but it's it's cool. Opening up, it's called introductions. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. That red book right there. <laughs> he doesn't know which one was going to be the one that moves. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. She shouldn't be hiding who she is. Her goal has been to find her family and to find 
to kind of like reconnect with the whole teleportation and the people she got separated from. I like it doesn't it doesn't seem to make sense to like hide your identity in front of Rudius, especially when he said he found his family. One of his friends is still missing, but maybe he knows about your fam and you know, it's just like what? Oh well. Not you like walking around with these two girls though. <laughs> Not that deep. Oh. <laughs> Yo, he really walking away like this. Wait, doesn't that mean someone went in his room? If that's... Wait, is that... Wait, it's not... Is it Roxy's? It's not? Oh, okay, it's not Roxy's. I guess. He would recognize it. Oh, they're planting you right now. They are framing you. No, they were all ready for the scrap. That is sus. You are being framed, sir. Bro, you came from where? No, this time Rudy's actually valid. Like, what? It fell from the window. What did you do? Why are they trying to frame you right now? Oh my god, I actually really hope he doesn't go through like a bullying experience here. Yes. Oh. Why? Yeah, he just got here. Wait, why y'all got beef with him all of a sudden? He's never met like all of you, like why? Right? Even Rudy could send y'all there. <laughs> Literally, why do they suddenly have beef with him? Is it, oh, is it because of earlier, like, Luke or something? I don't know, why? Hmm, right, because he, yeah. Look at you guys, I swear this is like moonlight and uh, really close. Is she finally gonna open up? There's no reason to hide it from him. There is no reason to hide it from him. <gasps> okay, if he hasn't processed that that is a female, he is low key swinging that other direction, you feel me? Renault University of Magic. Okay. Oh, that's so funny because I was about to be like, look, an ED. <laughs> um, oh, well, you know what? Honestly, I think this is going to be really cute and wholesome. This arc, like this little school time. Maybe they're messing with me. Maybe it's absolutely not going to be. But for some reason, I feel like it's going to be wholesome. Like, after everything that Rudy's gone through, I think it's going to be nice. Like him just kind of like, going to a school and kind of like making friends with Fitz. Not knowing it's Sophie, but like, so that's gonna be like a healthy friendship until he even finds out who she is or whatever. And I just, I don't know. I feel like this is gonna be nice. So, yeah. 
All right, so I don't have much to say necessarily regarding that, except like my few questions that I've asked. Like, um, I understand Sophie's circumstance, like she's currently a bodyguard and whatnot, but like, you know, being able to open up about who she is to Rudy, Rudy is very understanding. He's not gonna like do anything that's gonna get you in trouble. And she doesn't need to change what she's decided to do either. She could still decide to like, stay here as a bodyguard and maybe meet up with Rudy later at another time and stuff like that. I just don't feel like it's necessary that she remains quiet about it unless she feels like I don't want him to worry about me. I want him to just focus on whatever he's doing right now. And I don't, I don't know. I have no idea, but um, yeah. And we found out that sis, so she has a curse that requires her to sleep with a bunch of men. That is you know what's funny about that? <laughs> that really makes us see, like, I wonder if it's like the more she sleeps with guys, the longer she can go without. Cause bro, when she was taking the whole town, it's like, was that necessary? <laughs> what? Also, it's funny now because <laughs> she was always acting like oblivious to people being like, what are you doing? Like when, when Rudy was there, he's like, you're active so early in the morning. Huh? She's like, huh, what are you talking about? I was like, you got, when you think of it now, it's almost as if for her, because this is how she lives now, it's like, active. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? This is, this is my cup of coffee this morning. <laughs> oh my god, that's so, oh my god, no way. Anyways. And yeah, I hope uh, Rudy doesn't go through like some, like, traumatizing triggering bullying around here but i don't think he will especially not with fits around and uh i feel like he's he is going through stuff but i feel like he grew enough to the point where like you can stand up for yourself so maybe he'll find courage through that um but i don't really get why these girls were like suddenly like on him for just because of like that scrap he had with fits but then they they took that personally for some reason because even fits was defending him and they're like no <laughs> like, what uh, and yeah, I guess I just look forward to this change of change of pace. It's different to see Rudy going to school and like the school life and I wonder what it's gonna give like what they're gonna Give us through this because I don't think it's gonna be like your typical like magic school anime segment It's not gonna be like that really because I don't think we're gonna take the time to meet too many characters and go through too many things but maybe we will i don't know i don't know what to expect so i'll end it here thank you for watching leave your thoughts down below no spoilers and i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you and bye